In the autumn of 1614, huge numbers of troops were amassing around Osaka. It was the second great confrontation between coalitions of Western and Eastern warlords since the Battle of Sekigahara. The Eastern forces were again fighting on behalf of Tokugawa Ieyasu. The Western forces had rallied to the support of Toyotomi Hideyori, Hideyoshi's son and heir, who had safely ensconced himself in Osaka Castle. Osaka Castle was a formidable stronghold. On January the 18th, 1615, following a period of fierce fighting in which neither side made headway, both parties reached the truce. The Toyotomi forces agreed to fill up the castle's outer defensive moat. Yet when, after only a few months of waiting, Iyasu's forces also began filling up the inner moat, those of the Toyotomi felt a line had been crossed and hostilities again erupted. It came as no surprise to Musashi when in that same spring a messenger arrived at Kitsuki with a letter from his friend Mizuno Katsunari. Katsunari was again going to take part in the siege. This time he would be joined by his eldest son Katsushige, who was still only 16. Katsunari knew of Musashi's martial skills and asked him to serve on an escort of 10 mounted warriors for his inexperienced son. For Musashi, the request was welcome news. Two years before, his father had passed away at the age of 85. For more than a decade, Munisai had practiced and taught his story school of fencing at a modest dojo overlooking Morie Bay. Musashi had not been saddened by his father's death. Rather, it had been a relief. Even after their second reunion, Munisai had been full of reproaches and taunts, especially when it came to Musashi's approach to the art of swordsmanship. Following his father's death, Musashi reluctantly took on the responsibility of running the family dojo. But the three years at Kitsuki taught him that the time had not yet come to settle down. Perhaps he still felt he had to prove himself. Too many duels were unfought. Too many questions unanswered. Thus, early in April, the now 30-year-old swordsman set sail from Kitsuki for the port of Sakai as he'd done a decade before. Then it had been for purely selfish reasons to establish his name as a master swordsman by defeating the Yoshioka clan. This time his mission was of a wholly different order, to see the young son of one of Iyasu's most trusted vassals through battle. It was a huge responsibility. Were he to fail, it might spell the end of this martial reputation. From Nara, Katsunari advanced on Osaka with some 4,000 men. Musashi was among the first troops to pitch camp when at 4 o'clock in the afternoon of June the 1st they arrived at Kokobu. The hamlet, a few farms scattered along the southern bank of the Yamato River, marked a narrow pass between the river and the hill by the name of Komatsu. Behind the hill, the river was joined by the Ishi River from the south. Only a few miles downstream, at the village of Domyoji, an equally large enemy force under the command of Goto Mototsubu had gathered. His plan was to surprise Katsunari's forces before they had crossed the pass that night. Breaking up camp at midnight amidst dense fog, Mototsubu arrived on the opposite bank of the Ishi River a few hours later, only to find that his allies had lost their way in the fog. Intent on keeping the initiative, he ordered his 3,000 men to ford the river and take up positions on Komatsu Hill. It was a fatal error. Katsunari rounded Komatsu Hill through the pass, cutting off Motosugo's retreat. Outnumbered, Motosugo kept his position, hoping his allies would come to his rescue. Yet when, at 10 o'clock, at the hour of the snake, he was hit by a bullet, his troops fled toward the Ishi River in disarray. 
Katsunari and his troops pursued the enemy forces across the river into the grounds of the Konda Hachiman Shrine. Musashi, who was carrying a five-yard banner with a battle slogan, was in the lead, still relying on his most trusted weapon. The records describe how at one stage he was standing on the bridge, brandishing a huge bokuto, being cheered on as he cast enemy soldiers off the bridge left and right. A scramble now ensued amongst the eastern troops to be the first to mount the walls of the painfully exposed castle. Musashi, still part of Katsushiga's escort, was one of the first to enter the Sakuramo, the main southern gate to the castle. And he was with Katsushiga and his father when they planted the Mizuno banner of the imposing entrance. That night, the castle's donjon went up in flames. Hideyori withdrew to the most northern tower, but early next morning he acknowledged defeat by committing ritual suicide. The Osaka winter and summer campaigns put a final and decisive end to the resistance of Japan's western warlords. From then on, Tokugawa Ieyasu and his descendants were to rule supreme over the Japanese realm for more than two and a half centuries. On um.